What's good, YouTube? Your boy OG is back on the mic. Now, I'm giving you guys some hot fire today. Now, we've been doing a lot of top threes, but I've been sitting around thinking and talking a lot about a lot of these bills lately. And it came to me, it's like, yo, what is the top three no-skill bills? So we about to jump right into that. We about to get these bills right here that we about to talk about. There's three of them. Take no skill at all. I don't care what none of you guys say. It takes no skill. It either take a takeover badge or a pressing of the button for these guys to be super lit. Okay? So let's get straight into that. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that sub button for your boy and also turn on the post notifications so you won't miss an upload. And if you already part of that loud pack, one of the strongest pack gang gangs on YouTube, make sure you spam up loud pack in the comments. You do that for me, I do this for y'all. Alright, so we get straight into the video. This may be a super, 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 super quick video today. So I gotta drop an honorable mention. And I know this ain't top three, but I just wanna sneak one in there. This build takes no skill. Now I know a lot of you guys gonna be heating me or flaming me up in the comment section with this one. But my number four, my honorable mention goes to the pure shot creators. I'm sorry, guys. To hidden hitting fadeaway threes. Hitting fadeaway contested mids, green lights, and I feel like that build takes no skill. Period. I don't care how tall, I don't care how big, how small, but I feel like that build takes no skill at all. And it's cool. It's real cool because a lot of you guys are gonna have it. I don't really see a lot of these builds out here on the court, but when I do see these builds, you can't guard them. I had a, a pure shot creator drop 21 on me. That's the first build that ever dropped 21 on me since 17. Like, all 21. And he he, he, was just, he was just having fun with me, dog. Like, he knew he all he had to do was have a pick. He had fade on the other side of the pick. It's a green light. So, I know a lot of you guys in the comments are going to roast me up. It takes all the skill, OG. You just blah, blah, blah. Whatever. Pure shot created in my eyes. No skill at all. So, let's get into the list. Number three. Now, a lot of you guys are probably going to say this should be a lot higher. But I got the pure stretch bigs or pure stretch fours. Let me say that. These guys are cheesy. Now, a lot of you guys are going to be like, yo, it's that bigs are godlike. You can't stop. No, 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 no. They're not godlike. You only say that because you're watching the people on YouTube that actually have skill in 2K use a non skilled build. So it makes it look more overpowered than it is. I've seen a lot of stretch bigs who are trash, who don't know when to shoot, who shoots all contested shots. Sometimes they make they make the, they make the majority of the shots, but they don't make all the shots. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes they take bad shots. So stretch bigs are cheesy. They don't take no skill, but they're not as overpowered as we think they are. I feel like there's a little bit of skill behind stretch bigs, but they still got to be on this list because you could be a terrible stretch big and still get 15 on a nigga. No matter how good his defense are, right? But you stretch bigs can be stopped, so that's why they only they number three on my list. They they can be stopped. Put a lockdown on them. Uh, get somebody with no IQ. Get somebody who can't shoot a jump shot. Get a slow jump shot or get a trash jump shot. You know the stretch bigs can't be stopped. That's why they're on the list, all right? Well, that's why they're on the list this low. Number two, we gonna jump straight into it. It has to go with the pure post score. The pure post score. Seven foot. I don't even care. I don't even care. Seven three max weight. I don't care. Seven feet minimum. I don't care. All these dudes are cheesy because all it take is that grand badge or that takeover badge. My bad, guys. Takeover and it's a wrap. Nobody is stopping them. I seen the dude do the do the little takeover spin on a lockdown. The lockdown fell over. I was like, bro, these dudes are like. Once they get their takeover, it's a GG. Now, I know a lot of you guys are it's going to take some time to get you. You know, you, you know these post scores got dimer. Nigga, you could, be, you could be the point guard, make like two or three passes, and you'll get your grand badge. Or make a dunk, throw with two passes, you get your uh, takeover. I keep saying grand. Y'all know what I'm talking about. If I say grand badge, I know what I'm talking about. But it, it takes no, it takes no like, skill. A couple passes, you get your stuff because these guys get dimer. They get dimer. They get dimer. 
it's like, come on, man. This is like one of the cheesiest no skill build out there. That's why all these guys are doing 1v1s. Come on, man. Like, come on. Post score, dominating the 1v1s. So you telling me that what's the post score in the NBA right now? Ennis Cantor is beating Kyrie Irving or KD in a one-on-one. -on -one? Or Steven Adams. I, I don't know. I, there's not really too many post scores in the NBA, but I'm just trying to get anything that's close to them. They not beating KD one on one. They not beating Kyrie one on one. I mean, maybe Anders Cantor may beat, may bully Kyrie, but Kyrie still got some D. He get, you know what I'm saying? But like, if Kyrie get the ball, it's over. But even if you on the one on ones with these post scores and you get the ball, you can't miss. Because all it takes is two buckets, they get hot, and it's over. They start doing that spin, that drop step. Some of these niggas do that little push-off move. Bro, I'm telling you, no skill at all. I don't care if all the post scores in the world come on my video and cuss me out and hate me. I don't care. Post score, y'all take no skill. I'm going to stretch big. My build's on here. I'm just being honest. All right? And the number one no skill build goes to lockdowns. And rim protectors, bro. No skill whatsoever. All you have to do is be looking at a nigga that's shooting the ball and he gonna miss. All you have to do is remotely close, close, like put your finger up while I do the shoot and they gonna miss. It doesn't matter. It take no skill. All you gotta do is spam square. You're eventually gonna get a steal. You're gonna get more steals than you get fouls. One of my friends in lockdown, he said he had nine steals in a pro-am game. Nine. 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 And people at the park are getting three steals a game with lockdowns. Three and four and five steals a game. You know how hard it is to steal the basketball in real life? Some of the best players in the NBA get like two steals a game. Two. In 48 minutes, two lockdowns out here are getting nine steals in a pro am game, bruh. Three steals in a part game. <laughs> it is cheesy. When there's a lockdown on the court, I know for a fact if he's guarding me, I gotta be corner hole OG. There's nothing I can do. I can't dribble against him, I can't shoot against him. I I'm scared to even pass around him. Because if you pass and he press square at the right time, that dude may reach his arms out and grab the ball out the air, bro. So lockdowns are by far the, you don't need no skill. All you need to do is know how to pick up the controller and press square and you're Gucci. And that's the majority of you guys do that anyway. So that's it. My list goes pure shot creators, pure stretches, them pure post scores, and them lockdown defenders slash rim protectors. Those dudes are cheesy. None of these builds require you to have skill to dominate. And that's facts. This has been your boy OG. I'm about to go ahead and sign out. I'm, I don't know. Just keep looking out for another video. It may be another video today. It may not. So, if you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that sub button for your boy. Also, turn on the post notification so you won't miss out on no more lit content. And if you old... If you already part of the loud pack, you already know what time it is. Until the next time, it's your boy OG, and I'm out. Peace.